cutting my genitals. I'm vlogging! Ah, get me out of here, cut! No way! Shut it! Shut it! We get it! Your life's perfect and you're super excited. Just shut your damn mouth! Time vlogging! Shut up! These people are probably the most irritating and fakest people on this entire site, which is saying a lot. Let's look at some of the stupidest shit that these happy vlogger YouTubers do. I'm Shayna, and I love sharing ways on how to better yourself and how to create a beautiful life. The early hook and the late orgasm. So if you've ever seen a big YouTube vlogger, you know what I'm talking about. They start off the video with something super exciting or you saw it as clickbait in the title just to watch the video to see that moment happen. But guess what? The video is like 20, 25 minutes long. So you have to watch this entire pointless shit, this guy's or girl's day unfold where nothing interesting really happens. It's just some douche that keeps screaming at the microphone into the camera and then eventually when you get to the big moments it's either a a complete lie almost like an april fool's type of joke or that's the way they phrase it like they got you it's just a great joke but you had to watch the entire 20 minute video to see this stupid childish joke or b they just overhyped something that wasn't so incredible as they said it was going to be probably the most irritating thing that happy vlogger youtubers do is that they scream and over exaggerate into the camera and into the microphone trying to make their meaningless lives seem more interesting than it actually is and i don't care if you're jake paul and you're super famous and super rich or whatever life is not as interesting as you make it out to be you're just screaming into the camera to try and manipulate the audience to make it seem like you're embarking on this incredible journey. But you're not. You're probably just walking to the cafe to go buy a Coca-Cola while you're screaming at the top of your lungs while some fans are at the background. Who gives a shit? And speaking of not being interesting, these vloggers try to make their videos seem more interesting than it actually is by using cheap editing tricks. With that being best, are you doing about it? Listen then you can do it any type of editing software, like Sony Vegas, for example. Another cheap editing trick that these vloggers tend to use is the transitional blooper. It's when they make mistakes, but they keep it in and just use transitions in between to use that filler that they can just cut out out of the video entirely, put it inside the video to inflate the video so then it's longer so you can get to the 10 minute mark or 20 minute mark which is even better for them to get more advertisement money from. Important points are worth repeating. Do not think. Important points are worth repeating. Another trick that I see all the time from one-on-one -on -one vloggers is when they make a mistake, they don't edit it out, instead they use that mistake to correct themselves by making that mistake humanizing. Now this might sound confusing, but actually it's very simple and you've seen this in most of these vlogging channels because all of them use it to try and inflate the video. For example, um, uh, crap, what was it? Uh, I had it in the script. <laughs> uh, crap, can you just, just give me a second. I'm just gonna check. I'm just gonna, you get the idea. And just some minor points. Some of these vloggers use excessive amount of makeup, whether it be male or female, to hide the little flaws. They use misleading clickbait. I mean, everybody on YouTube uses clickbait, but some of this is, is incredibly misleading. It has nothing to do with the video at all because they're trying to make it look more interesting than it actually is. And most vloggers that I've seen use excessive amount of cheesy music and presentation to make it feel more relatable and to humanize them more to the audience. And all these points brings me to the final point that I want to make. These vloggers are fake. I'm just generalizing, obviously. If you enjoy watching vlogging channels, GoFer is not really my thing. But most vloggers that I've seen are fake. They use all these little tactics to make them seem more interesting than they actually are. And it's in the point of being a vlogger that you're trying to show off your personality. But if you're over-exaggerating or using these other cheap tricks, that is not you anymore. That is somebody totally different. This little character that you're trying to create. And if people say, no, it's for the sake of entertainment 
and it's for the sake of comedy, then these people are not entertaining and they're not very funny. So they're either extremely fake or they're just not funny because they're definitely not real. And that's the biggest problem that I have with these vloggers.